Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when your printer is not printing in color. So the first step is to make sure that your printing preference is set to color. So if you're making a printout from Word, so go to file, then click on print, then click on printer properties, then go to the paper quality, and then make sure the color is selected over here, and then click on OK. And if you're making a printout from your browser, then make a right click, click on print and make sure the color is set to color over here. And then you can go ahead and click on print out. Now still you're facing the problem, then go ahead and run printer troubleshooter. To run printer troubleshooter, go to the start menu, then click on the settings, then click on update and security, then click on troubleshoot. Then click on additional troubleshooter and here you can see the printer option. So click on it, then click on run the troubleshooter and once this is complete, restart your computer and then try to make a printout. The next step is to go to settings. So go to settings, then click on devices, then click on printers and scanners. Now select your printer from the list. So you will see your printer over here. So select your printer, then click on manage, then click on printer properties, and then go to the device settings tab on the top. And then over here, you have to go ahead and once you are in device settings tab, scroll down and in the bottom here, you can see the device type, and then you can click on this drop down arrow and then you can go ahead and select color and then click on apply and OK and then you can go ahead and make a printout. Still you are facing the uh, problem then go ahead and open control panel. So type in control panel in Windows search and then open control panel. Then here you can see view by category is selected. So select small icons then click on device devices and printers and here you can see the printer. Now if you see a printer over here, just make a right click and then click on remove device. So right now there is no printer over here. So in your, in your case, if you see a printer, make a right click and remove. And after that, click on add a printer. And then click on the printer that I wasn't, the printer that I want isn't listed. Click on this option and then select the option my printer is little older help me find it so by default this will this will be checked so make sure that this is checked then click on next and after that it will go ahead and you know you will be able to see your printer if your printer is on so once you see your printer go ahead and select your printer and then click on next and after that you will see the screen which says which version of driver do you want to use go ahead and select the option which says replace the dr current driver and then click on next and after that you will see this screen which says printer sharing so here you can see do not share this printer or share this printer so that others on your network can find and use it so whatever option you want you can go ahead and select it then click on next and after that it will go ahead and successfully add your printer and then you can go ahead and make a printout that should go ahead and fix the problem but still uh, you're facing the problem if nothing is working then you can go ahead and uninstall and reinstall the printer driver to do so uh, open apps and features. So make a right click on the start menu and then click on apps and features. Now over here, go ahead and find your printer. So if you f find your printer over here, so go ahead and select your printer. For example, my printer is not there. So you can go ahead and select your printer, then click on uninstall. So find your printer in the list and then click on uninstall. And after that, you go ahead and open control panel once again. So you can go ahead and open control panel and once the control panel is open, so you can go ahead and type in control and open control panel and then go to devices and printers. And if you see your printer over here, make a right click and then click on remove device. And then after this, you can go ahead and use this command. So copy this command. All the steps and commands are provided in the video description. So open the run box, make a right click on the start menu, then click on run and then paste this command in the run box. 
that is print ui.exe space slash s and then click on ok and over here now on this screen go to the drivers tab and over here you will see the name of your printer so select your printer then click on remove so in my case it's not there so you will see your printer over here then click on remove select that printer and then click on remove and then click on apply and ok and after that once that is done you go ahead and reinstall the printer driver from your printer manufacturer website so if you have HP printer go to HP website if you have Canon printer go to Canon website if you have um, Epson or brother printer go to the respective website so for example uh, for for um, HP I can show you so I'm selecting HP for now if you have Canon Epson brother whatever printer you have go to their website and then you can go ahead and select software and drivers and you can go ahead and select printer and then you can go ahead and uh, write your product name of your printer or you can enter the serial number or you can manually select your printer and then you can go to drivers and you can go ahead and download the drivers so I'm showing for HP so same way you can go to Canon website you can go to Epson brother so whatever printer you have go to their website and install the driver online you can go ahead and download and install it on the computer and after you install it you can go ahead and connect your printer and then you can go ahead and make a printout but make sure that once you uninstall the printer driver once you follow all these steps after this you go ahead and restart your computer so after you remove the printer and uninstall the driver restart your computer and then after the restart reinstall your printer driver from your printer manufacturer website so one of the steps should definitely help you to get your printer you know printing in color so that will be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel